Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. Tonight we're doing a collab with Alex from Life of a City Girl. And I gave her the challenge ingredient and she's going to come up with a recipe built around that. And then I'm going to do my recipe built around that ingredient. And we'll see who comes out with the more tastier option. I was kind of thinking about this as like chop style. So I'm just kind of like taking some things from the pantry and seeing what we can put together. As you can see, the secret ingredient is butternut squash. So. Okay, so there's just a little bit of salt and some olive oil. I'm gonna put a little bit of pepper on it. Then I'm gonna roast this in the oven for about 20, 30 minutes until it's soft. While the squash is cooking, we're boiling up the rotini. That's riveting footage right there. I forgot to mention that this recipe is inspired by um, a Rachel Ray recipe I saw one time. So, um, I'll put that down below. As usual, I'm just kind of winging it with some of my own ideas. Uh, for example, her recipe calls for pancetta. Um, I've never seen that at my high V. So I'm not sure where they're hiding it. It could be anywhere in that store since they uh, change the location of things on a weekly basis. I'm going to crisp up that bacon with some garlic and then I'll be back. Okay guys, got the bacon all crisped up. Don't worry, I poured off the grease. We don't need that until tomorrow morning when we're making ourselves a fried egg sandwich for breakfast. I'm gonna put in our squash. And some garlic. Because you know, a day without garlic is a day without sunshine. Now, in the original recipe, the squash was pureed but I like my squash to have um, some texture. So I'm just going to let it do what it will in the stirring process. I also pulled some um, that of my dried basil from my garden. I thought that would be pretty, pretty tasty. I'm going to add some um, pasta water that I left over to deglaze that pan. Give it a more 
sauce-like consistency. Oh yeah, we want to get our bits off the bottom, you know. pasta. It's been draining. <sighs> Stir that through. Let's see what we think. All right, guys, and then I would serve this up pretty simply. So just a nice bowl with some squash. And there you have it. I did think, you know, um, it could be interesting to add maybe some cranberries and some walnuts kind of give it a cheese factory feel to it but really it's up to you again in the re original recipe there's even some cream but um i like to keep it pretty simple you know just the basics bacon butternut squash, some garlic, and pasta. And I hope you enjoyed my video. Make sure that you go over and watch Alex see what she's cooking up in her kitchen. See you next time.